Hello guys, I am back with another Firebase uh, Cloud Function tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about the scheduled cloud functions. So basically, the scheduled cloud function is that it's a kind of function that triggered in a certain time. Let's say I want to make a function that triggers in every minute or I can uh, I want to make a function that triggers in every hour or in once per day something like that so i can schedule a function to be executed uh, according to some specific time so let's see how we can uh, make a function like that so so far i have created two functions uh, both uh, these functions are trigger functions so this function will execute when something is happening so now I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to copy this one. And let's say uh, I want to change a value inside the, the database in every minute. So I want that function to call, that function to execute in every minute. So I'm going to say something like this. Uh, execute in every minute all right so to create a schedule function you have to import a certain library uh, into your code so for do that i'm going to import uh, i'm going to create a new constant and i'm going to use scheduler library Alright, so when you click con uh, control and press this link and you should redirect to this file. Now it is working perfectly and I'm going to see the um, the API documentation. Okay, I'm in my uh, Firebase console. I'm going to functions. Then I go to the documentation and in here go to um, cloud functions in here you can see call function directly and run functions on a schedule all right so here you can get some details on how to create a schedule function so this is the code that you have to use to create a schedule function i'm going to copy this and then come to your code and I'm going to paste it in here like this all right so I have just created an on schedule uh, function I have to copy this value in here so that is how we make a connection uh, so I'm getting the on schedule uh, function type from this constant and using this constant value i have created a scheduled function all right so i have defined that this method this function should execute in every day at 12 a.m this is from the 24 hour uh, type clock uh, time so let's say i want to make this uh, method execute in every minute so I can say every one means there is a pattern and there uh, in the API you can see how to define this time. I will show you in a minute. Okay, I don't need all of these codes. I'm gonna clear them. And I wanna do something like this. Let's say I want to change a database value in every minute using this cloud function so i'm going to use the exact same code i have done in the previous uh, tutorial i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it in here i'm going to say let's go to our firebase database all right in here i'm going to create a new key let's say chain or I can say schedule value 
one. All right. So I'm going to change the value of this key uh, from this scheduled function. So I'm going to say it like this. All right. I will copy the path. Control C. Control A. All right. So now uh, when this schedule function is execute, uh, my schedule value, uh, schedule key value will be set to max. I'm going to change it like this. Let me get the current date. I can say const d equal new date. And using this date object, I can get the current time d dot get time. I'm gonna set the current time to this key when this uh, schedule function is executed. All right. So now I'm gonna save this and let's uh, make some changes. It's two spaces, two spaces. All right, looking good. Save this and I'm going to deploy uh, this function. All right, so it is now deployed successfully. And let's see in our function list. So, uh, all right, so I can see now it has a schedule trigger. So this function will trigger according to a schedule. All right. So I can see uh, this function uh, more clearly in the cloud scheduler. So where you can uh, use this, uh, edit this function accordingly. Okay, it says uh, status last execution is failed. Let's see what is happening. Mm. Okay, I should go to the log so I can see what is what kind of error we are getting. We can see that. All right, I'm in the error now. Mm, actually, I can't see any specific error. But anyway, let's uh, select this uh, scheduler. So in this uh, console, you can control your schedule method. Uh, uh, some of their values, all right? So you can actually uh, Post your schedule, you can resume your schedule, or you can delete your schedule function. So I'm gonna edit some of the settings here. So I have said uh, everyone means, and it seems that this value is not correct. You can do something like this. You can put five stars, and that means this function will execute in every minute and you can see how to define this pattern just click in here learn more and there is there are some details on how to define that pattern so you can execute so you can schedule that method uh, as you like now i'm going to update All right, so uh, it says now my time is 2.10 and the next run will be 2.11 p.m. All right. Okay, now I'm going back to my um, schedule value. As you can see, I got a new schedule value. And let's wait until 2.11 and let's see if our value is updating. Okay, now it is 2.11 and as you can see, the value has updated. So now you get the, now you got the idea. 
So in every minute, this function is now executing. And through this function, the schedule value in the database, uh, this key value will be changed. And I'm going, I have set the current time as the value. I can do something like this. I can concat set time like this. I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna deploy the, it again. All right, uh, it is upload uh, and let's see. Uh, so I'm going back to here and this says uh, my last run was 2.13 and my next run will be in 2.14. Uh, so let's see whether my value is changing or not at 2.14 exactly. Okay, let's wait a moment. All right, it has changed, uh, but uh, I didn't get my new uh, values but let's uh, give it another another uh, execution let's uh, refresh this one okay now instead of last execution is success and my next run in 2.15 okay let's wait to until 2.15 and let's see all right I'm going to refresh this one okay now you can see uh, my set time value also in the in this section so now I know this uh, function is executing in every minute so I want to make sure uh, make uh, I want to clarify one thing so whatever the value you set in here you can edit uh, that value after you upload the function from here so only you have to do is just select the function and go to edit and you can define the sequence the the time frequency according to this documentation and also you can uh, change any settings uh, in your schedule function in uh, this cloud scheduler console uh, just uh, you can do something like this you can select the specific cloud func uh, schedule function and if you want to pause it you can just hit pause and this function is not gonna execute anymore according to this frequency all right until you resume that function so if you want to delete it you can also delete that function and that function is not gonna uh, execute anymore uh, in your server all right so when I post this function I can't see any kind of uh, update in my database so basically this is how the cloud schedule function is working the only thing you have to do is just define a function and define the process whatever you want to do with this function inside this scope and define the time frequent that you want this method is to be executed and deploy uh, the function then go to your function list and go to your uh, view cloud scheduler and in here you can see your scheduled function and you can click uh, you can select that function and go to edit or uh, whether you want to change some settings or not to uh, change some settings you can change the frequent uh, you can get the detail from here and you can select the, uh, the time zone and just hit update and you are good to go 
so that's it for the schedule function and that is pretty much it for the 5s cloud function i'll be back with another tutorial until then have a good day thank you